everything that you see starts from this, 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 no, everything doesn't start with a plaque or a book weight or a hanging sign that says the word dream. Everything that you see starts from a dream. YouTube was a dream. Somebody had an idea where people could post videos, people at home could post videos on the internet, and those videos would be viewable by everybody. Well, now one girl's dream is coming true. Her film is for rent on YouTube. If you're an independent filmmaker, distribution is the holy grail. That's what everybody wants. That's the whole point of why you make the movie, is so it's distributed to people to watch the movie. So now history is being made. Not only is there a documentary about YouTube, about the popular YouTubers that were early on when YouTube first started, and they became very successful and very popular, and this is a look into their lives and how they got into that position. So not only that, you can now rent movies on YouTube. Independent filmmakers from all over the world, you can watch them from the comfort of your own home, or car, or park bench, or train, or boat. So what better way to bring the attention to everybody that you can rent movies on YouTube than to have the movie about YouTubers for rent on YouTube? Oh my God, someone at YouTube is like really smart. That's all I'm gonna say. There's like a lot of smart stuff going on over there. My name is Lisa Marie and I'm an independent filmmaker. And when I was first introduced to YouTube in 2006, I saw it as a great way for me to connect with like-minded people that would be interested in what my film is about. And so I started posting director's blogs about the realities of pursuing my dream as I was working full-time at a film studio and then trying to manifest my dream of this film on nights and weekends. So it's very exciting and I'm very excited for Esther and for all of the subjects of the film Butterflies because that film is also so exciting to me because it really shows the people in the beginning of YouTube and how they got their start, how they became really big on YouTube and just kind of like what they did and how they did it. And that was really fascinating. When it first started, there was these, this crop of people that you would go on there and see like they had millions of views and you're like, you have two views and you're like, oh my God, I have two views. Oh my God, I'm so popular. I was like people looking at my videos, this is so crazy. And then you go on their videos and you see they have millions of views and you're like, the whole idea of thinking, well, maybe there's not that many people on YouTube. It would be squished in a minute because you're like, no, there's definitely people on YouTube. They're just not watching my videos. <laughs> but they were watching Lisa Nova and X Gogobin X and all those other great, great YouTubers. Go rent butterflies on YouTube. I love saying that. That's great. I love it because I love YouTube. I'm a total YouTuber. And, you know, most of my friends now I've met from YouTube from all over the world. And I mean, that's how I met Esther with butterflies. A lot of the subjects of the documentary I'm friends with. So um, it's been a really great journey for me. It truly is a community. It just is another reason for me to love YouTube. I just love it. And now down the road when I'm done with my film, maybe, just maybe, there might be a slot for me to have distribution. I don't know, I'm just saying. Lisa Marie, remember me? Channel is Lisa Marie. YouTube.com, Lisa Marie. Don't forget to listen to your dreams. Sometimes you can't silence it. If it's a real dream to me, I believe you can't silence it. That's the craziness of it. It's so loud. It's like, ah! Oh, follow me! Ah, follow me! Ah, you're like, oh my God. Ah, okay, I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna listen to you. Ah, it's like if you don't do it, you're gonna go crazy. That's how you know it's a dream. If you're on a budget, indie filmmakers are usually on a budget. Just go ahead and use this. Take 17. Does this look bigger if I hold it closer? There's highlighters in there. It's not a real flat. But it works.